Hi, so we've got a stack of images that we've collected, um, we've sweated to get. What do we do with them? We want an image. Well, we've got to go through the processes and the first process is to inspect the data, see what we've got. Get rid of any bad ones, keep the good ones. So, uh, two ways of doing it. Um, one is a bit more complicated than the other. We're going to use the less complicated way, but very, very effective. It's a visual way, it's called Blink. And Blink, we visually inspect the data. The other way is more scientific. We will do that a bit later, but for the minute, we want to get you using the processes, using the program. So we're going to try and keep it very simple, very easy. Blink's very easy. How do we find Blink? Well, um, I'm not going to go around the screen explaining what all of the icons are and what they do because all that will do is get very, very confusing. What I am going to do is, as we use the different processes, I'll explain the different things that come into play as we start going through them. That way you can digest it a nice, um, easy way in small, bite-sized chunks. So to find Blink and to find any process, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. One is to, uh, on the sidebar here, we've got access to different explorers. One of them is the Process Explorer. In here, we find all of the processes that we use um, and we can extract some of them uh, and put them in our favorites. These are the processes that I use most of the time. In the lower batch is all of the processes. So if we click on and open the uh, individual one, in image inspection we've got Blink and we've got statistics. Um, and the same in all the rest, inside them is all of the processes. Now I find that a little bit, um, a bit cluttered and a bit not intuitive. This is very nice and easy. Just open Process Explorer, double click on the one you're going to use, easy. Or the way that I use them uh, all the time, I, I never actually look at the Process Explorer on the sidebar. I go Process, all processes, just hover the mouse down to Blink, Blink opens. Uh, I tend to use that way to find all of the processes. I don't actually use the Process Explorer. So we've got Blink. Now we need to find our data. So the only thing we can use at the moment, because none of these are active, is the open files. So we add some files. Now we're going to do the Horsehead Nebula in HA. That's our mission. Um, and we've got two sets of HA. We've got 900 seconds and we've got 1200 seconds. So we're going to do the set of 900 second exposures. So simply click on the first one, press shift, go to the bottom, click again. We've selected all of the images and open. So Blink will now load all of the images. Now, um, there we go. There's our Horsehead Nebula, and that is just a 900 seconds untouched sub. So what we need to do now is to put this same stretch that's on this screen on all of the images. Otherwise, if we click through these, they'll all be different. So all we do is there's two ways. We can click on the first one here, which will apply a, an automatic histogram transformation to all the images, or we can compute an auto STF, uh, an auto stretch for all the images. So we're going to use the top one, automatic histogram for all of the images. So basically it will calculate this image and apply the same settings to all of the images. So they all have the same representation. And in a second the screen will just flash um, and then we'll know that that has been carried out. Usually takes 20-30 uh, seconds, depending on how much data you've got in there, how many subs. There's obviously there's quite a lot of subs here, so it will take a little while. 
Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go through the images one at a time. You can also uh, run through as a video, which we can do. And you can apply a different time for each image. So if we put a 10 seconds on and play that as a video, we can see it moving through. Um, and we can get a quick look at all of the images. Now we can see there's a couple of bad ones in there. So we need to find them. The way to do that is one at a time. We'll zoom in just a little. Uh, you can do that with a mouse wheel. Um, or we can do that with the zoom in and out at the top. When you zoom in, you get this green box comes up to show you the zoomed area. So if we zoom right in, we can see we're on that small area. You can move this around uh, just by holding the mouse and moving it. Um, but we're going to use an area about that sort of size. Now what we're looking for is um, elongated stars or trailed stars where guiding hasn't been so good. Um, cloud um, and just and anything that's generally wrong. So if we just keep an eye on this screen and flick through the images one at a time, it doesn't matter if they've been if they're inverted. So if it's been um, flipped, it doesn't matter. So just go through them one at a time and check for anything that's wrong. Uh, star trail or a satellite trail, should I say? This one doesn't matter. That will be taken out when we do our batch processing. Uh, so at the moment we're looking okay and nothing too untoward and again another one there with a satellite trail doesn't matter uh, and we ah, so we've got one there where if you can see that on the screen on the video there's one there that's got a very light dusting of cloud cover by the looks of things now if you haven't got a lot of data, you you would be very tempted to leave that in. And the, the programs will deal with it. But because we've got enough data, I'm going to take that one out. Because all I'm doing is introducing noise to the image which I don't want. So we're going to just check on that one. And that will take that out of the equation. And all the rest are looking OK. And then as a final um, way, if you just play it as a video is a very good way of seeing that it's a very level and you can see the contrast and the image is very very that's a, it's not bad at all it's very good so I'm happy with that we'll just stop it and then we delete the frame that was the bad one and the way we do that is just to highlight uh, so if you had more than one you would just control and highlight We've only got the one frame we're deleting, we're lucky. So we highlight the frame, and then we're going to move the frame to a new location. So I suggest on your desktop you set up a file and just call it trash. And we're going to, this icon here, it says, if you hover the icon, or the mouse over these icons, it will actually tell you what they're for. We're going to move the selected files to a new location and we just click on that we go to our desktop we find our trash folder select the folder and then we close the selected image so that will close that one that we checked is gone so that image is now gone to the trash folder we play the video again all good and that is blink there's a couple of other icons here we don't need to know about those for a moment. I will explain them, but we, as I said, I'm just trying to keep it very simple. So don't confuse yourself with anything of these. All we need to do now is close all of the images. If you leave them open, the computer is still using its memory to read all those images. So just close all the images when you're finished. And then if we go to our file on our desktop, 
um, and we was doing 900s, we now have in that file all good 900 second images ready for the next process. So um, that's it for Blink. I'll speak to you soon.